Hi guys, it's Kay Comer in here with you, and I'm here finally with this uh, uh, tissue paper book. I've been so excited about doing this. Uh, I love working with tissue paper. I love tissue paper. <laughs> and this is just plain old tissue paper like you would put in a gift bag or line a gift box with. Um, you get it at the Dollar Tree, a big package for a dollar. You can get it just anywhere, Hobby Lobby, uh, the dollar store. Um, every page of this book is tissue paper. Um, every page. The little strips are all tissue paper that I you know, normally put fabric strips down the middle. Um, uh, but it is backed with cardstock. Now, you can't see the cardstock, but there's just a piece of cardstock under each page just to give it a, a, some sturdiness. I, you have to do that because the tissue paper is just so thin. Um, all of the tissue paper is double-aged, and the way I do that is I'm going to try to do a tutorial soon. I have to figure out how to do this camera first because I tried it once, and I had three little, three or four little short videos instead of uh, one long one because I would turn it off to do something and turn it back on, and that would make another video. So I have to learn how to do this right first. Uh, but um, anyway, everything, this is... Um, this is a tissue paper bow down the side here, and I've just put it on the outer binding. Um, it's just a big piece of wadded up to make a bow, tissue paper. Um, the images, let me do that real quick before I forget, because a lot of people are wanting to know where I'm getting these images of the bunnies. Um, I love bunnies. I've said that before. I've collected bunnies since the mid-90s, and uh, I love the, the Beatrice Potter bunnies, and uh, I don't like cutesy things, but I do like that vintage look in a bunny, and I've got quite a few in the yard, on our grounds, around in the gardens, and and in the house, too. Um, and uh, I was told, uh, gosh, even before I started making these books to sell, I asked one day at um, Office Depot about copyright and, and all that, because I've always made these for gifts before I started even selling them, and I didn't know what I could use, and... Uh, so they told me how to uh, uh, know about the copyright and all that. And I won't go into that all right now, but I'll try to do that on my tutorial. But um, uh, the Beatrice Potter, the, the bunnies like this, are all old, old. Um, and they are not, um, you know, it's okay to use them. Uh, I type in, I go to Pinterest for some of my things, and I will type in royalty-free or a public domain, or free printables, free downloads, and you can find anything doing that. Even some of these bunnies you will find that way. Now, you may have to hunt. That's what I spent most of, spend most of my time doing on every book, is finding just the right image, the perfect image for what I want, and um, I won't stop until I find it. I won't settle. <laughs> I just don't settle. I'm not that way. Uh, but uh, after what they told me about how old the Beatrice Potter bunnies and those things were, um, some of the real popular images, um, I got on eBay and uh, started looking in uh, junk stores. I'm big on junk, and I love to do that. Um, but I got on eBay and bought a, a few books like that. So I have, uh, so far but I knew I was going to run out soon. <laughs> I do have some Beatrice Potter bunny uh, books uh, with the bunny images in it. and uh, uh, But just recently, I knew I was going to be running out pretty soon. So I got on Etsy to look on Etsy. And um, that's a little complicated for me. <laughs> I've bought two things on Etsy, and I've only found one of them <laughs> to print it. But I will find the other. I don't know how to do that. I'm just Greek when it comes to technical stuff. Um, I just bought uh, a little something off of two different places that had the, the kind of look that I like. And one was that antique papery, is that what you call it? Um, I, I bought from her, and I was able to find that one. But it took me six days, and she kept emailing me, and <laughs> finally I found it. Um, and... Um, printed it off, and uh, I love her stuff. Um, some of her things are, they just have the look that pulls you in or pulls me in. And the other one uh, was Victoria Designs, I believe, uh, seems like it was, and uh, I believe she's the one that had the bunnies. Uh, now, I have bought a, a little book booklet of her, um, 
images, but I haven't found it yet. <laughs> but I will. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of spare time because I stay busy all the time. But that, that thing is in my computer somewhere. It's in my email or it's in a download, and I will find it, and I'll get it all printed off. But it had, I think it has this very image in it. Uh, but I think she's called Victoria Designs. Well, let's get into the book because I'm getting too long here. Um, this, as I said, every page is tissue paper. Love, love, love tissue paper. This is creepy cloth. It says love down here. This is one of the, the Potter Bunnies, an old rose that I've just distressed real heavy. Uh, this book is about, I always forget to measure, but you know, the way my books are, all of my, all sizes. Um, I like to do the eight, the sizes, the pages, um, kind of jaggedy in, in um, size. I don't want the sizes to match. I want them to be one to be short and one to be tall, you know. Um, I just like that look. And uh, so this is about five by seven, something like that. Uh, this is going to have to go in the $7 box, even though it isn't that thick of a book. It is... Uh, um, it's going to be too big for the little book that I've been putting the mini books in, like the little church books and things like that. Um, Old Country Church. So um, that's what it is. It's about five by seven, give or take. And it's all tissue paper. Okay, this is the inside cover. Some creepy cloth, an old flower. This says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Some old roses. This is just some pink gingham from Hobby Lobby that I've just distressed really heavily and put a strip of uh, hot glue down through there for that and just squinched it up and that made like a pleat. And I love that. The little flowers are from Hobby Lobby. This just says love. Love that. Old paper flower. This is some hearts. I told about that in the last book. I bought a bag of um, hearts. I had about 150 in the bag, and, and they were just stained hearts. So I got it for 50 cents. I brought them home, and I thought, well, I can just paint each heart as I need it for different pages, and that's really going to come in handy. Put the little chicken stamp down here, some paper flowers. It says believe right there, love. I use the word love a lot in all my books. I don't think you can use the word love too much. Um... I have a saying on my wall somewhere in, in the house. I can't think where, what room it's in, but it says, regardless of the question, the answer is love. And I believe that. I just, um, I'm a hopeless romantic and a, a real sappy, <laughs> soft-hearted person. <laughs> Take time to make your soul happy. And then the little teacups here all stacked and any goggling. And the little birds on the flowers and paper flower up here. This is just a doily that I put in there. See, I stamped love on there. Stamped love on that side. Have just the little tissue paper strip down the middle. Here's another little bunny. Says, love, love. Love, love, love. Can't love too much. Cannot love too much. Love these bunnies. Love clocks, too. I love old clocks, and I like only clocks with numbers. Real numbers. Don't want those Roman numerals. Um, so I put clocks and, and bunnies in most of my books, um, but this is uh, just three different kinds of clocks. This one says love, this says vanilla cupcake, and this one just has some roses in there, but they all have real numbers on there. It says enjoy the journey up here. Some little paper flowers down through here, and this says time has made a change in the old home place, and time has made a change in each smiling face, but I know my friends, they can plainly see that time has made a change in me. And that's an old gospel song. I love old gospel songs. Don't like this contemporary music that's out today. Does not do anything for me. Um, just don't care for it. I just love the old hymns and the old gospel songs. This is just a little pocket I just made out of some cardstock. I uh, crimped up some um, a tissue paper here. Put some creepy cloth and a, uh, I bought some uh, buttons at a flea market. I don't remember if this one came from the flea market or a yard sale, but uh, had some little flower buttons in there, and that, that all the buttons looked real old. So I've got that in there. I got some tissue paper in the back of it, and this I just uh, uh, cut out with my little uh, I don't know what you call those things. They cut designs on the edge of your papers. This is just a little book, as Jenny Miller would say, for your journaling needs. I don't usually put a lot of uh, blank space in a book because blank space kind of gives me hives. I like every space to be filled. <laughs> so we'll tuck that tissue paper down there. 
Let's see, just another little bunny. Love that bunny. I've used that uh, several times, uh, even on the front. Of, it was on the front of the last book, as a matter of fact. I, I think it was. Okay, this just says buttons. Um, this is just a couple of bunny rabbit couple. Love, love, love. And this is grateful, thankful, blessed. Love this bunny here. I just absolutely love that bunny image. I'm just drawn to um, things that kind of speak to your heart and soul. Um, hearts, uh, you know, roses, vintage roses, cabbage roses, uh, bunnies. <laughs> I love stuff like that. On the back, it just says love. And then over here, have, uh, this is scatter kindness. This says blessed. This is dream. This is just a big image that I just kind of tore around and uh, distressed the edges uh, with the uh, Tim Holtz ink. This is just some creepy cloth with a paper flower that's been distressed really heavy. Now, what did I do with that? Okay, let's put this back. Okay, and on the back, um, this is just a stamp that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I only have like four or five stamps. I don't buy a lot of stuff. Um, someone asked me on uh, one of the uh, um, junk journal uh, chat pages what something was, and I said, I don't even know what, I mean, if it, if I, something that I had used was so-and-so, and I said, I don't even know what that is. I really um, mainly stick to, um, I'm 72 years old, as I've said, and I have collected uh, crazy things all my life, really, since I was 10 years old. I collected my first, saved my first little poem when I was 10 years old, and I don't know, that just set me on the path to collecting old things. I think I'm an old soul deep down inside, and I always have been, even when I was a little girl, and um, I've just always collected now old buttons, old doilies, uh, crocheted doilies, I like white or off-white, um, old linens, old cutter quilts, Old magazines. I have old magazines that are uh, dated 1915, and maybe some before that. Um, you know, and I I can get images out of any of those things. Um, I've just always clicked old story books, the old golden books, uh, old old books, even before the golden books. And uh, my husband has said to me so many times, "Why do you still collect that stuff? Because we are old." We're both in our 70s. He's about to turn 74. And I, I never knew why I collected them. Um, but I just love them. I don't, I don't know. It just makes me feel good. Uh, I, sometimes I'll post to somebody that has something with kind of a similar look to this going through uh, uh, one of the junk journal groups. And I'll say, oh, my goodness, your, your colors and your images just pull me right in because uh, this is... This is so me. This book is so me. Our house is like this book. <laughs> nothing fancy. We have nothing new. I don't know if we have anything under 30 years old. Uh, newer than 30 years old. Oh, my husband's recliner. About every six years, we have to buy him a recliner because of the way he sits, it leans, and it breaks to the right toward the light. But uh, that is the only thing. He has made our bedroom suits, and we have Paul Bunyan beds and uh, kitchen tables and chairs and all that stuff, and He's made all of our stuff. Okay, enough of that. I get to jabbering and telling stories and doesn't have anything to do with the book. So this book is for sale. Um, all the information will be down below. Um, you can go to my Facebook page, Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. Uh, you can message me, pri message, private message me on Facebook, Kay Comer, and our uh, my uh, profile picture is a picture of our our wedding uh, in uh, 1967. So it's my husband and I on our wedding day in 1967 and uh, the wedding dress and all that. So it'd be easy to find. There are other cake homers on there. So I'm easy to find. Um, I just invite you to join me anywhere. I'm several places and they're all down below. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I have one book that I have to get out now, a big book. And uh, uh, so that's going to take me a little bit. I'm going to try to do it in about a week and a half because it's for a local lady that's not doing real well and her friend wanted to give it to her um, while she's kind of homebound. Hopefully she'll be out and about pretty soon, but um, I do want to get that book done. So this book is um, up for grabs. 
it doesn't have a whole lot of pages, uh, but it is, um, every page is, I mean, it is full. It's um, four pages, eight pages of content. Um, and it's just a, a coffee table book. I mean, I've got two on my coffee table, our coffee table. I don't like to say my, it's our, everything is ours. <laughs> but I have uh, two books on our coffee table, and uh, people will come in and they'll pick up one of the books and say what what is this what what where did you get this and then when I tell them I make them they just oh my gosh you made that how did you ever <laughs> you know well that's going to be in the tutorial because I'll take a blank book and uh, that'll be in the tutorial too and I'll, I'll look at it myself and I'll think oh my goodness what in the world am I going to do with this and then you know something just jogs your memory and uh or your creative uh juices in your mind and here you go and next thing you know you're going so strong you can't find a stopping place okay that's it 15 minutes into this already i think uh going on 16 all the information is below it's 25 dollars it's going to be seven dollars shipping on this one um and i'll get it out just as soon as um we have everything finalized so thank you all so much for watching thank you for your patience and i love you all